The Duchess of Cambridge admitted to feeling broody while on a walkabout in Northern Ireland today. Kate, 37, who is already mother to George, Charlotte, and Louis, cooed over five-month-old baby James Barr after spotting the baby in the crowd outside the Braid Arts Centre in Ballymena. Speaking to his father Alan, Kate said, He's a very sweet little boy. He's so diddy. Makes me very broody. When Mr. Barr asked if that meant she is planning baby number four, Kate cracked a wry smile and added, I think William might be slightly worried. The Duchess, who donned a 1,735 pounds mulberry coat and Jenny Packham dress for the occasion, has joined husband Prince William for a busy two days of engagements in the region. The couple rounded off their trip this afternoon with a visit to a childcare centre, where both William and Kate spent time with youngsters. Yesterday the mother of three's head was turned by another baby, who was taken to meet the royals at Belfast's Windsor Park Stadium. Today it was baby James who caught her eye. Bending down to speak to the baby, Kate, whose youngest son Louis is ten months old, said, Hi James. How old are you? Hello. The little boy appeared delighted by the attention and gave the Duchess a big smile. Glancing up at Mr. Barr, Kate continued. He's a very sweet little boy. How old is he? To which the father replied five and a half months. After having the exchange about being broody Kate told Mr. Barr, It is nice to meet you. The touching moment was caught on camera by Cool FM. Kate wore a fitted navy blue bespoke dress from one of her favorite designers, Jenny Packham as she kicked off a busy second day of engagements on Thursday. The mother of three could be seen wearing her beloved sapphire earrings, which were originally gifted to her late mother-in-law as a wedding gift. The earrings were part of a suite of jewels given by Crown Prince Fahd of Saudi Arabia, before William passed them on to Kate following their engagement in 2010. She added an extra layer in the form of a chic gaped mulberry coat in a dusky blue shade costing £1,735. William meanwhile, opted for his signature daytime look of an open-collared shirt, chinos and a navy pullover. Kate and William are visiting the Braid Arts Center to visit the charity Cinemagic, who have used film, television and digital technologies to engage with over 500,000 young people. The charity uses visual arts to increase opportunities and develop skills for young people from all backgrounds. The Duke and Duchess will take part in some of Cinemagic's workshops to see the full range of training they provide. Earlier on Thursday they paid a visit to Hillsborough Castle where they met with local police officers and staff to discuss the challenging roles they undertake. Kate showcased a bouncy blow-dry for her engagement today as she chatted animatedly with the police staff today. Their final engagement of the day will be at Sure Start a program that supports parents with children aged under four years old living in disadvantaged areas in Northern Ireland. Their Royal Highnesses will see some of the different programs that Sure Start provides to understand how the organization supports parents and provides best practice for early years work. Last night saw Kate tried her hand at pulling pints as she joined Prince William at Belfast's Empire Music Hall last night. Kate, 37 could be seen laughing as she went behind the bar and poured pints with her husband at the party. The mother of three stunned in a 1,590 pounds Masoni metallic knit wrap dress, which she paired with her signature giant Vito suede stilettos, costing 505 pounds, and a nude mulberry clutch. There were cheers as Kate poured a pint of harp ice lager and set her effort on the bar. William then took his turn saying here we go as he tilted the pint glass. He watched the tap intently before exclaiming look at that bad boy as he admired his work, and added, perfect? Good enough for an advert. The couple, who arrived yesterday for a surprise two-day tour of Northern Ireland, were greeted by well-wishers and Lord Lieutenant of Belfast Fanula J. O'Boyle before making their way inside. The appearance at Empire Music Hall wrapped up an action-packed day of activities. A smile was never far from the Duchess of Cambridge's face as she showed off her footballing skills, tried her hand at archery, practiced putting up a tent and took on her husband in a heated Canadian canoe race. The couple appeared in excellent spirits as they arrived at their first stop of Belfast's Windsor Park Stadium, 
where they jostled on the pitch as they joined excited schoolchildren for a spirited kickabout. Kate, 37, started the day in a 1,200 pounds Carolina Herrera coat and 199 pounds LK Bennett boots, but soon swapped them for a 159 pounds Navy Barber jacket and 80 pounds New Balance trainers, which proved a more practical choice. Keen football fan William, 36, also came prepared with a second pair of shoes and spent much of the afternoon in Nike trainers. After the kickabout, the couple headed some two hours west of Belfast to the Rosker Youth Village on the shores of La Kern, Cofermanic, where they met youngsters who benefit from the outdoor adventure camp. Gate was given a canoe lesson, while the Duke of Cambridge tested his balance on a low-ropes assault course, 